Number 35, letter A. What is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the moon? All right, so here's the moon. And let's take a particular point on that moon. I'm going to dot the point right here. Okay, so I want to find the acceleration due to gravity at this location uh, due to the moon. Okay, so if you're thinking about acceleration due to gravity and we're talking about um, you know, gravity specifically, you're probably thinking about this equation over here on the right-hand side, right? That represents the force due to gravity is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by the two masses divided by the distance, right? That separates them. So you might say, well, how, how do I do this? Because I don't know the mass of this particular object. Well, we don't really actually need it. Let's just call it the mass of A, okay? So the two masses here are this mass and then the mass here of the entire moon. So um, let's first detail the formula here. So the force due to gravity is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of A, right, times the mass then of the moon, all divided by the distance between them squared. So uh, now here's the force due to gravity, but let me ask you a question. Where does the force of gravity point? It points towards the center, right? It points towards the center. So guess what I could pro I could call it instead? Instead of the force due to gravity, I could call it the centripetal force. Ooh, okay. So wait a minute, what does that allow me to do? That allows me to use this formula now, all right? And substitute now these parts in for F. Okay, now remember, that's what we're gonna do here. Though, let me just write down, so it's gonna be MAC, right, is equal to G M A M M all over R squared. Now the question is, well, what mass is this? Is this M A or is that the mass of the moon? Well, what are we trying to, um, what are we trying to find the centripetal acceleration of? Right, it says find the, or well, it says find the acceleration due to gravity, right? But again, that is the acceleration points always towards the center of the earth, so it's the same thing. Centripetal acceleration or acceleration due to gravity, tomato, tomato. So now um, we're dealing with, it says, so what is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the moon? So we're trying to find the acceleration due to gravity on this object here. And if that is what we're trying to find, then we have to know the forces on this object. And what else do we have to know about this object? We have to know the mass, right? Or we would need to write its value down. So the mass here is the mass of this object, okay? Because according to this formula over here, Fc equals mac, the centripetal force experienced by a particular object, which we are detailing as the object there, is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by the centripetal acceleration experienced by that object. And this object is the object that's located on the surface of the moon. All right, so hopefully that made some sense. So this is really an MA here. All right, so notice what happens now. That goes bye-bye. And what are we left with? We're left with now the, centrip the centripetal acceleration is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of the moon all divided by R squared. So guess what we've got to do? Just calculate, okay? These are the numbers. I don't know if you're going to have to memorize them, but you can look them up in the table. So we just got to plug in the stuff now. Let me actually just box this equation because this is the important one that we need. All right. So now we have centripetal acceleration is equal to gravitational constant, which is 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11 multiplied by the mass of the moon. Remember, it's got to be in uh, kilograms, which it is. Thank goodness. So 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd. This is all then divided by now the radius, well, or the distance, right, between the two objects. So between the center of the moon, because that's where um, the mass is condensed, right, that's the center of mass, and then the center of this particular object there on the surface of the moon. So what's the distance? Oh, it's just the radius. Remember, radius has to be, or distance has to be in terms of meters, not in terms of kilometers. So all we got to do is convert that to meters, Multiply it by a thousand or simply just add three zeros to it, okay? So just add the three zeros. Don't forget to square this, please. And then I do it all the time. <laughs> all right. And now, um, just calculate. So 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11 times 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd divided by uh, 1,737,000 squared. All right, so I get a value of 1.63, right after I round, 1.63 times 10 to the 
uh, well, not times 10 to anything. That's it. 1.63 meters per second squared. There's the acceleration due to gravity. That's great, right? That's letter A. Let's take a look now at letter B. So letter B says, what is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Mars, right? And they give us the mass and the uh, radius. Okay. So guess what? It's the same darn thing, right? It's the same formula. So let's just write it on out. All right, I'm just going to write it and plug it all in, okay? So the centripetal acceleration on the on Mars now, right, will be equal to the gravitational constant, 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11, 10 to the minus 11, multiplied then by the, not the mass of the moon anymore, obviously, it should be the mass of Mars, okay? So that will be uh, multiplied here by, what's the mass? They told us 6.418 times 10 to the 23, that's in kilograms, great. All divided by the radius, remember it's got to be in meters, thank goodness they gave it to us in meters so we don't have to go nuts. So 3.38 times 10 to the 6th, remember that whole thing has to be squared, okay? Too many dots over there, and squared. And let's just see what this baby comes out to be, all right? So centripetal acceleration here, whoops, will be equal to, so 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11 times 6.418 times 10 to the 23, divide that by now 3.38 times 10 to the sixth, and square it. So three point, that makes sense, about 3.75. So 3.75, okay, hold on, 3.75 meters per second squared. So that would be the uh, force due to gravity uh, on Mars, okay? I always wondered if we ever actually made it to Mars, I wonder how our bodies would adapt to the difference in terms of uh, the acceleration due to gravity. We'd essentially weigh less, right? And I wonder what would be the uh, implications for bone density. I'm not too uh, well versed on it, but I, uh, eh, it's just a thought for you guys to entertain uh, if you have any interest in that type of thing of space travel. But in any case, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you in the next question. Take care.